experience sometimes like this um, especially after like sitting really sitting in presence and being emptied or spending time with you or in satsang mm. and then often following after that when there's also tiredness or something something wants to like just um, almost like it feels like it wants to be noisy like look stuff online or just like occupy you know and I wonder if it's um, my noise or it's okay to be just aware of that and not to fight with this kind very of good question who is going to receive this response now who is going to receive this response now? If the energy is loud, you say it's loud, something shh. You say, even because I was listening to the first things you say, hmm, in order that the last things you finish, I see what the first things you say is. You know, sometimes when sitting or after satsang or something, then when I'm by myself, I feel this energy. That the mind come come in, and I want to know what I must, if if it's coming because um, if I should do something about this 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 noise, because I come back to I'm sitting in silence. I listen. The one you're speaking of is still a traveler, isn't it? I was before like this. Now I am like this. This is not the voice of the stillness. The stillness it has nobody being still there. Please understand that. So the one who comes to stillness cannot remain in stillness because by nature he is oscillating. Tell me as I speak if you get it. Yes. Yes, true. Yeah. Like today I was so then I was looking like is is awareness distracted? Like kind of ah, so this is really a good point. So she's asking now. So can awareness be distracted? Awareness is not an entity that can suffer attraction or distraction. Listen, if I can get this across, if I can get this across, you know. It's like wow. If I can get this across, I wish. Where in you cannot hear this? It's a beautiful question. Your question gives me opportunity to reveal something. Hmm? So the dialogue is happening. Satsang dialogue is happening. In the, it's still in the realm of phenomenality, but in the highest, it's on the boundary of phenomenality. No? Because even such a high point of observation, that even the question, can awareness, can awareness be distracted? It says, absolutely not. It is beyond uh, being distracted, Nothing can happen to it. It is not an entity that something can happen to. Because of awareness, the world comes into play. All manifestations are happening inside it. It is the, the pure intelligence behind knowledge and all perceiving. It is just here. When I say it's behind, you see, the human words cannot talk about it because I say it's behind is you can say this but it's neither behind nor in front nothing it it's like even space exists in it what is more subtle than space so therefore in human using human language we say like space meaning it's not even space subtler than space now I want to show you something. You are aware of space, isn't it? Yes. Who are you? The one who is existing in space? Or that which is aware even of space, which is the most subtle of the element? 
you say ether space. What can perceive space? It must be even subtler than space. And look how easy you answer. I ask you, are you aware of space? You say yes. This answer comes so easy. But the one who thinks they are searching feels to be like, because there's a belief in this one, who itself is appearing in space, so much uh, identity and energy is in the, uh, in the person, the person is always, is also perceived, just like space is perceived, the person is even more dense than space. Of course, the person is perceived. By what is it perceived? This, I don't care about your answer. Only you're looking. You give the answer, but you cannot accept yourself. You're sitting here with a packet of crisps and a cup of chai, answering the most, the highest question. You are aware of space. If you are aware of space, that includes all the things that appear in space. Is secondary because none of them can manifest without space. So even space is going to be the greatest noun, not just a verb. The action within the noun you may call the verb. The great noun is space. Even space, which is so subtle, becomes a noun to that which is beyond space, becomes a thing in itself. But who will get it? Who will get it? Because the idea that, yeah, okay, so I need to think about that. You, whoever you are thinking about it, are both ideas appearing in the space, perceived in that which cannot be. Subtler, subtler than space. But what you must do with this? If you tell me, yes, I got it, tell me, get out of my way. If you tell me, I can't get it, I say, get out of the way. And now it's time to be quiet, hear this, and just marinate with your acute attention on what this meaning is, until the one who is looking for an answer become seen as also something phenomenal, and the one you are can never be seen. What you are can never be seen, cannot be identified, cannot even be called human, even. It's not even limited to human. And no imagination is required. No journey is required. It's this thing. In terms of word, this is, in terms of knowledge and teaching, this is about as ultimate as the teachings can go. It's the mirror. Nothing in the world huh, can actually show you God, because God is beyond form. He manifests form. This understanding comes by the grace of God, that with this understanding, a reflection happens inside the heart. But it's not it's not a tangible visual reflection. And the searching beingness is satisfied because it's not separate from this. What are you gonna do? If if you are given the highest teaching, you don't know what to do with it, because what you are still want to have an experience in as the way we are taught to experience things mentally, emotionally, psychologically. But the pure awareness is beyond all of this. Beyond where? Where beyond? Beyond where? Here. Yeah. Maybe the word is not beyond. Maybe beyond is too coarse a word. The finger is here, the finger is there. There is a spatial relationship. But what is the relationship of space itself? We say we are sitting now in the sitting area of uh, Little Jamaica. This is sitting area of Little Jamaica. You must stay in the sitting area. Inside there is the shop area. 
but the space in the shop and the space in the what's the difference between them? Does the space know? Oh, don't come here. This is shop space. We speak about, you know, Chinese airspace, Japanese airspace, American airspace, Indian airspace. But what? Which? Who owns space? So concepts speak about these things, but the space is one. Something knows any space, also perceives space, and sees space as a manifestation of itself. What is it, and who is going to answer this question? So this, by word, you get a response from me, but for that understanding to combust into pure essence, the seeker idea must marinate and contemplate it over and over and over. Don't go to another thing I said. Don't go to another book. Don't go to another movie. Stay with this. If you trust me, stay with it. Stay with it. Stay with it. Not mechanically. Stay with it like, like it's air that's running out of the room and you breathe every bit of it. Breathe until your lungs disappear. Something inside is restless, like, can you say it in another way? I say, no, I'm too tired. Remember, I said one time, God gives you bread, don't ask for toast. Make toast. What do you understand that saying to mean? I say, God give you bread, don't ask for toast, make it. What explain what this meaning, what it means? means what you just said before, Guruji, that you give us a core teaching, so now don't ask for more, just sit with us and marinate. God gives you bread, gives you what you need. The mind wants toast. It's also bread. One man toast. Why didn't God give you toast? He give you bread. Meaning, you, I give you what you need. You are hungry. Suppose you're dying for hungry. You're dying hungry. <laughs> then God give you bread. Yeah, you give me, make me toast. He takes the bread away. You're waiting for toast. <laughs> God, where's my toast? He gives toast to somebody else, not you. What is this bread of God, this understanding, this knowledge, which when swallowed becomes understanding, hmm? which when it is digested and combusts becomes spirit? Spirit and Truth are one. We have to do this thing. Don't worry about what the mind says. When the mind is coming, it doesn't matter. You're being chased by a bunch of people to beat you up. You're knocking on a door and somebody pull you in. Close the door. And you open your eyes and you see, in your heart, you are totally at home. Then you hear the people outside going, oh, where is that? Where is that? Why you worry about them? Why we worry about it? Like this, you have to be and say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, they are knocking on the door. What do you worry about this? If you were in the house of God. <laughs> God, the devil is at the door. <laughs> But how to reach such a state? We have to marinate. All the teachings in the world has come down to one pointer. Everything has reduced to one thing. Be take this tablet now. 
Don't say, but has it got vitamin B12 in it? <laughs> yeah? Did you put some spirulina in it? No, everything, all the juice, all the everything has boiled down into this this quintessence, this tablet. Take it. Yeah, but but you know, you have enough vitamin C in it. Is there any gluten? The pill of God. The mind is going. You have water? Yes. Um, is it Evian? <laughs> then you don't want. He says, OK, I take pill from you. Go to the pub. I feel that Sahaja Sangha must come to this point now. We are cooking in this pot, and the dal in this pot is saying, "We don't like to be cooked in a lamel pot. We like to be cooked in in a cast iron pot." So God just put the lid on. Okay, good. <laughs> We don't want. We don't. We don't cook well in uh, in uh, you know in enamel potter. We want. We want to be cooked in uh, in castor. <laughs> 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 You have to become one who cannot miss chance. That uh, you know, passing the test or failing the test become redundant for you. How? How that? Are we laughing together in the same energy or what? 